The ReadyMag Generation 1 and Generation 2 magazine exchanging systems come in two different mounting options, the A1 system and the A2 systems. Both systems work well. The A1 system is less expensive and the A2 system is a little easier to install. I'm going to demonstrate how to install the A2 system. The A2 system uses what are basically a shaped, oversized rubber band and a thread block for the screws that speed installation. You can do this with the gun assembled and it will be easier with the gun upside down. This eliminates the need for the third hand. First of all, check and see if the gun is unloaded. Unlike the Generation 1 system, the Generation 2 doesn't use the gun's magazine catch to operate the ready mag. There's no need to adjust the mag catch. The first step is to unlatch the trigger guard. So use a small punch, depress the plunger, lift the trigger guard up. Slip the rubber band with the wide portion towards the front of the gun. And now is a good time to cut a notch or a hole in the rubber band for the serial number if you want to do that. You spread the ready mag slightly, slip it around the mag well from the back, close it, and you look at the plastic block and it has some holes that are closer to the one side than the other. The side that the holes are closer to go to the, toward the magazine well. It may be necessary to loosen the thread block to let it move so you can insert the Allen screw without cross-threading it. Now you'll have two Allen screws that you will need to place two little rubber O-rings underneath the heads. And take these screws and insert them through one side and through the block and screw them into the block on the other side. Your final step will be to close your trigger guard, make sure it's latched, and you're ready to go.